the new frontiers, well, there's a bit of uh, sort of revisiting old frontiers, but there's obviously, there's the new frontiers in Afghanistan, um, Western Asia, sort of Eastern Europe, that entire region that really requires infrastructure to allow accessibility to um, undeveloped deposits, which are sort of known deposits, but it's just been too hard to get in there and mine economically. So that is the new frontier around, you know, large-scale copper projects. Um, in South America, you've got the large-scale lithium projects. and But there's also this sort of revisiting of old frontiers to see if there's, uh, you know, resources like quartz or undiscovered gold that was sort of passed over in, in pri uh, previous generations. So there's sort of, uh, as I said, they're probably the frontiers that we're seeing. Oh, the benefits, well, we get to uh, see a lot of our clients here, which is great, so it's a great opportunity to engage with them. We get to see all of the global mining services companies and, and touch base with how they're uh, seeing the market um, and also try to highlight to them where the opportunities might lie. So it's a great opportunity to build relationships with people. And I think just in general, I think it's great that, you know, it's held here in Melbourne. Um, it's highly accessible for us. And Melbourne, you know, is the mining capital for the Southern Hemisphere. So uh, I think it's just a great way to bring people together and just remind them that countries like Australia and Africa and South America still have significant sort of undeveloped resources that, that can be mined into the future. So it's, uh, and you know, it's great to be able to tell that story.